1957, the Soviet Union successfully launched the world's first man-made satellite into the Earth's lower orbit. America, having lost the first heat of the race to conquer outer space, turned her attention to a new frontier. When the Russians sent up Sputnik, the American Navy became very interested in finding a way of getting Americans to the deepest part of the oceans. And the deepest part of the ocean, so far as we knew at that time, was down in the Marianas Trench. The United States Navy launched Project Necton one year later. A two-man submersible called the Trieste would make a record dive to deepest inner space. The Picard bathyscaphe was brought to San Diego and being prepared to be taken out to work in the Marianas Trench. Robert L. Fisher, a Scripps oceanographer with an obsession for trenches, traveled to the proposed dive site to create a map for the men who would pilot the Trieste. The reason they thought it was useful for me to be there is because it was very likely that there would only be one or two attempts with the bathyscaphe, be able to, with cost and other things or accidents, to get to the bottom. So we wanted to make sure we had the right place. And with bomb sounding, you have someone very carefully make half pound demolition blocks and you put the little fuse on it about like that long and so on. You toss them over the side every minute and a half, or every, every minute, while the ship moves along very slowly. And there's a huge explosion, half pound block, when it's only a few hundred feet behind the ship. All the engineers come up from underneath, you know, thinking that something has been hit. But at any rate, they get used to it after a while. By analyzing the echoes, in other words, they had to sit there and make long paper tape records of it, looking for all the world like the seismographs that you see on television now. That was what it was. There's a shot in the water, the echo goes down, comes back up, and so on. But it doesn't go off a flat bottom ordinarily. It goes off a whole series of mountain groups down there, so you get a very complex echo thing. So it takes you weeks or months to really set up where is the true bottom, what is the true depth of that trench. But that's what we were finding out. Over a period of several months, Fisher and his crew sounded out a profile of the Mariana Trench and identified its deepest point at 10,915 meters. Challenger Deep would be the Navy's destination when the Trieste bathyscaphe went on its historic dive to conquer inner space. And in January of 1960, a young uh, Navy lieutenant, Donald Walsh, and Jacques Picard, the, the son of, of the man who invented the bathyscaphe, were able to get to the bottom in the same little pocket that I had found. Uh, an advisory group was meeting in Washington. I happened to be a member of that. There were a number of, of uh, Navy admirals and senior officers there and civilians. And about halfway through the morning, a very resplendently dressed public relation officer came in and he put his hat down beside the lectern and he picked a piece of paper and he said, the U.S. Navy has conquered inner space at 5,600 fathoms. Lieutenant Donald Walsh and a civilian, Jacques Picard, had, with the help of the United States Navy, gotten to the bottom of the deepest part in the world oceans, the so-called Challenger Deep. The discrepancy plagued Fisher until a colleague, Fritz Koshy, a University of Miami chemist, pointed out that the two depths differed by a ratio similar to that between the velocity of sound through seawater vice freshwater. That prompted John Lyman, a former Scripps researcher and Navy reservist, to have the manometer checked. Sure enough, the gauge was calibrated for freshwater. The Navy quickly corrected the record to what Fisher had first sounded out, 10,915 meters, plus or minus 10. About a month after that January meeting, Jacques Picard, who I'd met many years earlier in, in Europe, came to my office and I told him about this. And he laughed and he said, but Bob, we calibrated the manometer in Lac Le Mans. <laughs>